The line between coming on too strong and not showing the other person that you are attracted to them is thin, very thin. Flirting makes you vulnerable and it can be scary. And that is why learning subtle ways to flirt is a really great skill to have. And in today's video, you are in luck because we are going to look at some of the best ways to subtly flirt with someone. In a way, however, that won't embarrass you, but will show them that you are interested in them. Stay tuned. Eye contact. It's so, so important. So let's talk about it. Making eye contact with someone shows them that you are well and truly interested in what they are saying, but also in a romantic way that you are interested in them too. So engage in eye contact while they are speaking or lock eyes from across the room. Any lady will love this and would immediately understand that you are flirting with them. So watch for the eye contact and do it back. Very easy one, say hello as you walk past them. Acknowledging someone and making the effort to wave and say hello and wish them well as you walk past is a lovely, cute way to flirt. It's going to make them feel special. Imagine that you are in the office, you like a lady in another department. She walks past you, so you say hello, and it's the start of the spark. She feels seen, and this might lead to her flirting back and then eventually a date. Liking their pictures up on social media. If your crush posts a picture on Instagram or Facebook, like it and maybe leave a compliment like, you look great or wow, that looks really fun. This is gonna put you on the other person's radar. Every so often as well, send them a Snapchat, maybe of you with friends and if they reply, it will be the start of a conversation. Now guys, don't go too far and comment on every single photo. Doing it every so often will be enough and do not scroll through reams and reams of images and then like something from 16 weeks ago, it comes across creepy. Group hangouts. Instead of having that pressure of hanging out with them one-on-one, -on -one, why not start with some group hangouts? It's really easy. If you guys work in an office together, hang out with some co-workers after work. You still have time to talk one-on-one -on -one and show off your personality, but without all of the pressure of hanging out with just the two of you. Also, you can still flirt around other people, flash them eye contact, and she will pick up what you are definitely putting down. Listen to what they are saying. Listen to what the other person is saying, but do it carefully. If you have spoken to her and she mentioned it's her brother's football game, bring it up at a later date and casually say, hey, did your brother win that game? She will be so impressed that you really listened and you remembered, and it will show her that you do truly believe in her and you value everything that she says. Try and keep the conversation going. When it comes to keeping a conversation going, you don't have to litter it up with facts. Yes, guys, that doesn't mean facts on video games. Unless your crush is a gamer, because some girls don't really care for that. Ask simple questions to keep the conversation going. For example, if you are talking about where someone is from, ask them what their favorite restaurant is in that local place. Things like that, keep it simple, but keep the conversation going shows that you are interested in what your crush has to say. And this doesn't put on too much pressure, but it does allow for a little bit of flirting at least. This is my favorite out of the whole video, and that is offer them some of your food. Here's a not so well kept secret, guys. Food is the way to a girl's heart. It really is. Offer her some of your food and she will be happy. Once I went on a day date with a guy and we were walking around chatting and exploring and we decided to stop at good old McDonald's for a few snacks. I got a burger but forgot to get fries and the man that I was on a date with offered me some of his fries and whoa, I was hooked. I thought it was just so nice that he decided to share his fries with me. A selfless act. And that is something that girls look for in a partner. So the fact that he did that on our first date, well, it was a great start. Gift them something. Gifting your crush something thoughtful will school you major brownie points. This is a great way to flirt without being too obvious. Perhaps she has mentioned that she loves a certain brand of tea. Next time you see her, you can say, oh, I saw this and thought of you. And she will love that you did that for her and thought about her when you guys were not together. It could be anything from her favorite type of chocolate to a drink. You will know what she likes and she will be so happy and touched you did this. And I have to stress this, you don't have to get her an expensive gift. If she likes Kinder Eggs, leave a Kinder Egg on her desk and she will love it ruffle their hair. Anything to do with touch is quite a bold flirting move, so it's only reserved for the confident. Ruffling someone's hair though is like a teasing act, which can be a little bit more subtle if you're trying to go for that kind of look. 
Maybe your lady has done something, she's teased you, you can joke with her and play with her ponytail, only for a second, but still, it's not a very obvious way of flirting, but it's a little bit of enough to make her have those butterflies. Touch her arm during conversation. Whilst we are on the subject of touch, touching an arm or even a shoulder is a great way of flirting. But it's not always that subtle though. If you are having a fun and a jokey conversation, touching her arm or her shoulder lets her know that you are interested. Now guys, I would suggest that if you are trying to subtly flirt, you wait until you are on a date when you actually pull out this one. Lower your voice. That's right. Guys, sometimes you can be really loud. You have deeper voices than us ladies, so we understand that you want to show off your masculinity, but when it comes to flirting, keep your voice volume low. Speak directly to your crush in a lower, softer voice and maintain eye contact, and this will drive her wild. It will make her feel like she's the only girl in the world without you having to lay all of your cards out on the table. Take their hat. If the pair of you have a jokey and a teasy relationship, this is a great way to flirt without being too obvious. You could put your crush's handbag over your shoulder as a joke, you can steal their hat or wear their jacket or glasses. It creates a sense of closeness within the relationship and they will treasure that item even more because you've touched it. It's a subtle way to flirt and if you've already established a relationship with the person, you could do this, but possibly not on the first date. Compliment them, such an easy one. Pay your crush a compliment. Make sure you do mean it. Maybe they are talking about their job and you can very passionately say, wow, your work is very important to you and they are so lucky to have you. You are really great. You can also carry on a conversation about her working styles. You could offer them a more direct compliment like, I really love your dress and they will love this. You might find that the lady then feels more confident and pays you a compliment back, but remember to make sure it's a genuine compliment and if if you can, stay away from telling her she looks beautiful. It's a bit of a pointless compliment. Very important, you need to know when to back off just a little bit. When it comes to subtle flirting, you have to know when to back off and when to step back into kind of put an end to things. If you notice that your crush is becoming disinterested or agitated, it's time to take a step back. The sad truth is not everyone is going to like us in a romantic way and there are plenty more fish in the sea and there is definitely a little fishy for you. You just have to search for it. So if you notice that your crush is not all that interested, you can let it go. You can still maintain a friendship, but the best thing is you have been subtly flirting with her and she might not even know that you 100% like her. She might just think that you are a lovely person, so therefore you never have to feel embarrassed. Brilliant, right? If you think I missed something from today's video, let me know down in the comments. Give me a huge thumbs up and consider subscribing to make my day. But if you want to get your name rolling up next to my face, like these amazing people's names here, then all you have to do is click the link in the description bar below to find out a little bit more. Have an amazing day. See you soon.